Rich Robin here, Gator Pit of Texas Custom Barbecue Pits. This is a Bandit Mobile. You will see this on our website at GatorPit.net. Again, this is our Bandit Mobile on our website at GatorPit.net. We have a 20 inch diameter pipe, quarter inch wall, about 40 inch long on the main chamber, single door lid. You've got upper and lower slide racks. You see there, nice and easy. You got smooth cut lines. You see there, all the way around, nice and clean. We got our internal dampers, or not the dampers, drip bars, what I call drip bars. You see a lot of guys that, since I came out with these drip bars on here, they're now doing them on their pit. Some of them are. Gator pit was the guys that were doing this first. 3,500 pound axle, 15 inch white wheels, five lug, 205, 75 trailer rated tires, universal light kit with a four prong harness up front. Our trailer frame's constructed a quarter inch, two by two square tubing on this one, standard. Solid plate front deck. This customer has added a 160,000 BTU fryer or burner. We build it into the trailer deck like you see now. That way when you put your pots on there, if you're frying turkeys, your pots are up here, which would be a safety issue or safety hazard. So we keep it built into the trailer as opposed to a box on top to keep the working height safe and also easy to get pots off and onto your trailer or your burner. There's your propane tank holder. Retain and bolt, locks your tank in place. Comes with a high pressure regulator hose standard. It's got a control valve on it as well. The burner has its own control valve. You notice we run half inch gas pipeline there. That's half inch gas pipe. And then we run copper from the valve to the actual burner itself. But the whole, the main line is all half inch gas pipe, black pipe. We've got a two inch coupler, screw jack, removable jack wheel, swivel wheel, safety chains with hangers. Passenger side, it's got a little open area here that you can put an ice chest to bungee down with or two. And you got standard uh, passenger st uh, side storage. Good enough for folding tables, chairs, wood, whatever you need to get in there, easy ups. Steel fenders. Our new decals. Firebox is quarter inch thick, 20 by 20, 20 diameter, 20 long, dial style, air intake vent, stainless steel cool touch handles, fully flanged doors, heavy duty, angle frame, fire grate. It is actually framed out in angle and reinforced in the middle with more steel, more angle. The fire grade quarter inch thick, heavy duty. Getting over here to the upright, you've got a 20 by 20 by three foot tall from the lower rack to the top of the upright, three feet, 36 inches, 20 wide, 20 deep, four sliding food trays. They are interchangeable. You can move them around, up and down, the bottom one has a tab so that you can grab it and easily pull it out. The upper three do not have tabs because you can grab it really easy and do this. And it minimizes you actually putting a foil pan in there or full wrapped meat or any other foods in there that are wrapped or panned and accidentally hitting that and cutting the bottom of your, your pan or your foil and losing all your juices. That's why we only put it where we have to and that's the bottom. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. The upright itself is quarter inch thick steel. I say that because a lot of the other makers out there make them out of 3 16th or 8th inch plate, a lot thinner steel. We go quarter inch. Why? Because this is the course, the coolest section of your cooker typically. And if you go with thinner steel, it's going to be really cold over there. So we make it quarter inch so you get a lot of heat retention. Get you some temperatures up there where you can cook in that thing and not just a warmer. You add our tuning plate design to it or option to it, and then you can certainly cook any meat anywhere in here. Doesn't matter where you put your big old honking briskets or, or your, your butts, 10 pound pork butts. You can cook in it, but that's with our optional tuning plates. If you get the tuning plate option, then you can run even all the way across. Without the tuning plates, the horizontal chamber is your primary cooker. This does typically serve as a warmer or cooking smaller cuts of meat like chicken quarters, halves, uh, you can put ribs in there, you can put your sausage in there. Uh, but with the tuning plates, then you can cook any meat anywhere you want in there. And that's, that's the, the advantage of the tuning plates. It's 
got a two inch brass, uh, I'm sorry, two inch drain down there. It's got a 30 cap on it. You can often add the brass ball valve to it. This customer uh, just has the cap that's removable. You got a wrap around shelf. You can see how the shelf wraps. We do that because you can actually use the heat off the firebox to warm salsa, or you can foil pan meat. You can actually set one or two pans of foil, uh, foil pans here to actually keep your meat warm off the heat radiating here, but not so much that it burns. So there's a lot of advantages to this wraparound shelf. And Gator Pit is the one that, I don't know if anybody else does a wraparound shelf. I mean, this is my design I came up with 20 something years ago. Uh, and to my knowledge, nobody's copied that one yet. But I figured why not maximize any heat coming off that firebox? Use that heat for something. Again, big shelf space, wraps over the firebox. You can utilize that heat coming off that box for whatever you want. You can put a full pan of water, a pot of water, just have some cleaning water there. Temperature gauges. Let me close this door up here. Tell True, Gator Pit Tell True gauges. You can see the Tell True brand name there at the bottom. We do have Tell True making our gauges now. Tell True is one of the number one instrument manufacturers in the USA and they are made in the USA. Another great reason why we use Tell True. Try to keep as much as American made as we can. Tell True's website advertises these gauges. The accuracy at one or plus or minus one degree accuracy. You can go to Tell True's website and look at that. Get a Pittsburgh House stack. There's our logo there. Stainless steel Gator logo. Anyway, this is the Bandit Mobile. It's a nice small trailer rig or smaller trailer rig than our much larger. This is great for just average guy for the backyard cooking, uh, cooking in his driveway, bringing it over to grandma's house, maybe some small catering, bring it to a little church event, take it to the beach, the ball game, do a little tailgating with it perfect size you can roll it around by yourself on a hard surface I actually rolled it where you see it now it was sitting over there and I just grabbed the jack with one hand and pulled it where it is now so it's a great cooker comes with all the gator badging rich robin gatorpit.net give me a call email me go to my website check out my other models See ya.